Okay, so um, <laughs> there is uh, a lot going on today um, you know, with a lot of stuff that, um, uh, you know, uh, I like to watch or play and whatnot. Um, <laughs> we're going to try to get to it as much of it this week as we can. Um, I'm going to wait to do uh, an NFL free agency video until tonight because there uh, are some blockbuster moves already. Uh, and then there's already talks that there's going to be more. Um, coming this, this, uh, well, later today. Um, so, uh, I'll probably have a, uh, NFL, uh, free agency, like, day one, like, a video out tomorrow. Um, still no word on Tom Brady or, you know, a lot of other people, but, you know, we know, um, we know Austin Hooper and then DeAndre Hopkins is a big surprise there. Uh, so, but, uh, I just want to go over a quick little recap of, uh, the XFL right now. Um, I don't have a lot to say, uh, because there was only five weeks. Um, and, uh, I mean, it didn't even last as long as the AAF really, uh, obviously they didn't go out of business or anything like the AAF. Um, but the coronavirus really, uh, it took its toll and, uh, you know, it, you, you can't stop a virus. Um, you know, you just gotta, you gotta contain it. And then, you know, once everything settles down, um, well, hopefully everything gets back on track. I know the NBA is talking about doing the finals in August or whatever, um, but they probably won't start back up until May. Uh, so we'll see. I don't know what the XFL is going to do. Um, it sounds like the NFL is going to stay on schedule. Uh, they are modifying the draft. Um but I don't like. There's been no official word about the XFL if they're gonna play over the summer uh, or if this is it until literally next um, February. Uh, hopefully, there's <laughs> not another five weeks. Uh, hopefully, it goes to the championship next year. Um, but uh, overall, I I thought it was a change of pace. Um, you know, watching the NFL for so many years growing up. You know, being that it's the dominant thing, you know, no competition. Um, I this maybe in a decade, this could be by twenty thirty. This may be a comp, uh, like a competition for the NFL. Uh, there's obviously still a lot, um, because it, it's the first year. Um, obviously, I don't expect you know everything to be perfect, top line, top of the line, uh, year one. Um, but I thought it was a good. Uh, year of football uh, or five weeks of football for the XFL. Um, happy that St. Louis finally has football back. Um, <laughs> I joked on Twitter where uh, <laughs> about how St. Louis finally got football back and the coronavirus is like, nope, nope, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, it, you know, uh, Dallas is another team again. Uh, <laughs> DC defenders, you know, they started out uh, started out strong, and then they looked like the pretenders, and then they ended up winning week uh, five. So, um, you know, well, <laughs> I I don't even know if uh, the Vipers won a game this year. Uh, I think I think they won week three actually. I think they won one game. Um, obviously, I was really impressed by uh, the Dragons. I know I'm kind of skipping around on the logos here. Um, but, uh, I was really impressed by the dragons and thought, you know, they have some weapons there. Um, obviously every team has some weapons, uh, and Houston seems to be the most complete, uh, so far, but, um, you know, battle Hawks and the dragons, dragons finally found their QB, uh, what week four, week five. Uh, so, you know, they're set there. I love watching Reynolds. Uh, he's probably one of my favorite wide receivers in the XFL. Obviously, Cam Phillips is probably number one. Um, <laughs> PJ Walker and Cam Phillips are, are they're just the best duo in the XFL right now. Um, and it's <laughs> there's no competition there. Uh, you know, uh, I didn't really watch a lot of LA um, Wildcats. I think they've always just kind of been mid of the pack. Um, Again, four or five weeks. I know I keep saying that a lot, but I don't. There's not a lot you can go off of with just five weeks. Um, it's just kind of hard. Um, 
I mean, just I'm happy we got five weeks. I mean, we got an extra month of football, uh, basically. Um, so you know, it, I I just thought overall it was good. Um, Houston, uh, they'll be it'll be fun to see what they can do uh, next year, next season, later later down the line, this summer, this fall, or next winter. Uh, again, we have no idea. Um, they have not said a thing yet. Um, but you know, I, I see this sticking around. Um, uh, it's just, it's just a matter of time for, you know, the coronavirus when this is going to get, uh, or when this is done, uh, like contained and whatnot, or they bring out a cure for it. Uh, we obviously don't have any, uh, I think it's like a year for some places or whatever, something like that. Uh, but I don't know again, but uh, overall, uh, XFL wasn't, it wasn't that bad. It was a nice change of pace. Uh, the, uh, the NFL probably was watching those five weeks and they're probably going to end up, um, uh, incorporating some of those rules in there. Uh, so, uh, without further ado, I'm going to kind of wrap it up there again. I don't have too many thoughts on it cause it's, it's just, it it's not long enough. So, uh, but like the video, uh, share the video around. Um, subscribe to the channel and we're out of here. Peace.